Welcome to Christiana Flourishing, where we motivate you with God word. Ladies and gentlemen, this video you're about to watch is how do you control, how do you gain, how do you achieve the love of your husband or your wife? Please watch this video to the end. I'll see you in our next video. Connected to this, it is get, getting instructions from this. It doesn't do what it likes. It's the instructions. All of them come. Is there a time where your body just does something? that the mind did not process. It's not possible. So there is no way a wife should do anything that the head does not say. No. Not one day. And that's the scripture. And that scripture does not get changed by the attitude of the man. I told you before. If your husband is difficult to deal with, you chose the wrong one. You should have just found one that could submit to you. Hear this. For the husband is the what? The head. Even as Christ is the head of the church and is the savior of the body. Who saves the body in marriage? The man. What have you done? What do you do for Christ? You attend conferences. You do all nights. When last did you do an all night for your husband? Forget it. Forget it. I, I'm... I, I don't mean where you have gone now. You know you people with your heads. I'm just talking about sitting down, talking to each other, and seeing the plan of God for your family. Now all of the people in the back there, you came late. Now you are coming late in understanding what I'm trying to say. What did we do when we came to this church? We were worshipping, eh? singing songs. When last did you sing songs? To your own husbands like baby stand here. Should I go deeper? Thank you, doctor. Thank you so much. She has written songs for you. Oh, we have found a live one now. We have found a live one. She's composing songs. Please, don't compose songs. We know you can't sing. <laughs> A conference for Christ. We worship him. We spend time with him. Do you think, let me tell you something. Do you think it is fair for Christ to say, if you don't follow me the way I want, you go to hell? Not fair at all. Because sometimes I don't find it easy to do it. You see, Christ is not fair. He's not democratic. He is what? Theocratic. In other words, he's a dictator. He will tell you things you don't want to do. And he says, whosoever will let him come. Then you think he's fair. Then he says, but if you don't come, you go to hell. I thought I, I, it's a free will thing. It's not. It's not. You'll be told things you don't want to do. But you have to do them. This is why Paul says, the things I want to do, I do not. But that which I should not do, I find myself doing. 